Even in these unprecedented times, there are still many businesses that are open right now. In fact, We're Open Baltimore is a new station initiative, and we're joined by anchor Kelly Swoop that's going to tell us all about it. How are you? Great, Elsa. How are you? So nice to have somebody to interact with. I feel like I'm on an island in this newsroom. I know. You're one of the last ones holding down the fort, and I'm going to ask you about that, too. But I want to start out by asking you about We're Open Baltimore. What is it all about? You know, it really is a cool campaign, Elsa M. It's something that actually scripts our company started. We have like 60 stations all across the country. But here in Baltimore, We're Open Baltimore is a, an initiative to, to reach out to local businesses to say, hey, we're with you. We know that you're going through a difficult time right now. So what we're doing is um, restaurants, small businesses that are open, that are offering carry out and delivery, reaching out to us, telling them what they're doing, telling us what they're doing, that they are still open. And then we're featuring them on segments on the news. It's so helpful. It's great for the businesses. It's great for us to feel like we are supporting our local businesses and, you know, we don't want to cook. So it's actually very helpful with that too. There's also one other initiative. It's, what is it? Uh, Tuesday, right? Take out Take Tuesday. Out Tuesday. Take yeah. out Tuesday. So traditionally Tuesday is a very slow day of the week for restaurants. And imagine even more so now with all of them only able to do a curbside delivery right. or takeout. So we're wanting people to support their local restaurants on Tuesday with hashtag takeout Tuesday and send us their pictures and stuff. And it's a great way to say we're with you during these difficult times because if you think about it, since the restaurants closed down, you know, last week, servers, you know, no tips, yes. uh, restaurant, no income. So they're really, really counting on the community to come out and support them as much as they can. Absolutely. And tell me a little bit more about that. What are you hearing? Because you guys are covering this every day. What are you hearing from people just about how difficult this time has been? You know, what's interesting about this is that you really see the good hearts of people when you go through like a difficult situation like this. We've had several businesses in town uh, featuring um, opportunities for fresh fruits and produce and stuff for um, people in the restaurant industry who are out of work and not having any money come out. They had a giveaway, I think at Mount Vernon yesterday, one of the hotels there featured, they were giving away all this truckloads and pallets of food for restaurant workers to come and take home stuff to prepare for their families. We have some restaurants that are doing things for essential personnel, you know, the, the doctors and the medical people, the nurses, the caregivers who have to work. They were giving people an opportunity to buy a takeout meal and sponsor one of them. So there's a lot of good things going on, and, we're, and this uh, opportunity, this We're Open Baltimore, gives us an opportunity to feature some of those good things that are going on in the community. It's really amazing that we can all be separate and still find a way to come together at a time like now. And for you, what has it been like just covering this pandemic? I mean, you literally are, are you the only one in the newsroom right now? I'm here along with the executive producer and uh, the managing editor, and the news director, way, way, way yes. down in the newsroom. So yeah. like I said, it's very, very isolating. And it's, you know, it's really tough, I think, for people who, like you and I, are both extroverts, yeah. used to socializing and being outgoing. I kind of feel like I'm spending a lot of time online, on, you know, alone, even in yeah. my home, where my daughter's school, learning from school virtually, Yes. My husband is home. We're like all in separate areas of the house. So you feel like you're even alone at home when you're at home. Yes. But it's what we got to do. We got to respect that uh, social distancing so we can get beyond this and hopefully get back to some normalcy soon. Absolutely. Well, we appreciate you Zooming with us today and um, being a part of the Midday Maryland show. And good luck to you. You're doing an excellent job per usual. I love watching your coverage. So thank you. And thank you for telling us also about We're Open Baltimore. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.